next to harvest, planting in a vegetable garden is what's the most fun. And you know, you want to remember that the soil in the spring of the year, the soil has been fortified because it's gone through all of last winter, started in the fall through last winter. It's really perking, it's really great. And now I'm going to show you a super secret to planting America's favorite fruit. Not apples, tomatoes. Oh yes, they're only vegetables in the United States by act of Congress. Tomatoes are the most favorite fruit that anybody that we have in the United States. Everybody's got some. And all you're going to need is a post hole digger. You go out and you spray some where you want them. Dig a hole about two, two and a half feet deep. And into the bottom of that hole, you're going to put in corn cobs. Now, where are you going to get corn cobs? You're going to get them from all summer long. And you're going to use the corn cobs after you've eaten the corn, just let them dry out so that you can then chop them up. You put them down in the bottom of the hole and you want about, oh, about three to four inches. And that's for drainage. And that's all it is. Then you take a pinch of hair. When I say a pinch of hair, uh, and it can be men's hair, women's hair, just go to the barber shop or the beauty shop and say, I want hair. Take about that much hair and you put it in the bottom of the hole. That's protein and slow release nitrogen. It's in the bone meal loop. It takes a long time to break down. It's good for the plants. You take these new, these diapers, these ones that retain uh, 30 times their own weight in uh, water, and you take the center panel out of it. And by the way, if they just got tinkle in them, that's even better. You put a piece of that because it has these silicones in it, and the silicones hold 30 times its own weight in water. Now, I take a piece of hollow galvanized pipe. Remember, we always use metal around all of our plants, and we, we take that and we're going to put it into the middle of the hole from the middle of the hole right down to the bottom leaning against the outside this is the way we're going to water now we take our healthy tomato plant we t always tap them first and then we take them out and we put it in the ground we put it in lower than it was planted because the farther you come up on the trunk the more rooting you get now you push the soil in around it and pack it down really good and you can't plant it too deep. You can even put it on an angle. Now see, your pipe is out here. You can use a funnel or anything else, but the water and the food, the tonic is gonna to go right down to the bottom. Now you're gonna take and put a tomato cage around your plant, put your pieces of nylon on it. It's now ready to grow and give you an abundant crop. I mean, these things will be boomers, but just try something a little different. You'll be amazed. Mm -hmm.